My name is Dennis Shirley. I'm a professor at the Lynch School of Education at Boston College. I am uh, visiting now with the National Institute of Education in Singapore, meeting with faculty, exchanging ideas, and seeing how we can develop our partnership. There's a seriousness to education here that I find quite inspiring. The desire to have a humanistic and sustainable impact on improving education. I think that the purpose of education is to contribute to the release of human potential. I believe that there is a natural idealism amongst the young, and if we're good educators, we help the young to find that natural idealism and to channel it to make the world a better place. One of the ideas that's big in educational change today is education for passion. And a really great curriculum will help them to find their passions and will give them some skills. And occasionally these things can converge. What we can do to create a more conducive learning environment is to make it diverse. So if you have young people who are frisky, give them climbing walls that they can scamper up on in between breaks. If we do a good job in our system, we don't just give to our young people the things that they might ask for immediately. We broaden their horizons and we teach them that the world is so much bigger and so much richer than perhaps they could even imagine. This question often comes up, how do we educate not just the intellect, but also the hearts? Well, one of the ways that we can start with that is by studying um, the history of art, music, philosophy, um, religion. I think that the system in Singapore is doing a very good job trying to expand its traditional emphases on uh, science, technology, engineering, and math to do more adventure-based learning. We recently published an article by a professor here, Aswadi Jamaluddin, which is about um, students in Singapore using a digital trails app. What a great thing for young people to do, to use technological tools to study their local environment, learn about their local community, and then to advance recommendations to the government. That's a fabulous use of new technologies. Alternately, I think that Singapore can learn some things from other systems, uh, including in, in the U.S. We often charge ahead and experiment um, so that there is a certain um, crazy, zany courage that goes on in our systems, um, which I think that there's some here, but it's much more rational <laughs> and people want to see the evidence before they proceed. You know, sometimes great things happen without a whole lot of evidence. Um, if we talk to people in the technological industry, for example, they're just trying stuff all the time and uh, maybe we could do a lot more with that with education in general as a profession. Whenever I've been privileged to visit Singapore schools, I've always been impressed with uh, the sense of vision, commitment, and collaboration that is shown by the teachers. I like that curiosity about the world and they're not afraid to stretch themselves. So I'd like to thank uh, my colleagues in Singapore. We are carefully studying what you do and endeavoring to learn from you, and I hope we can keep our exchange going for many years to come.